If you've ever been looking for a Spanish-American war to World War I, Collins Engineers Bolo, this is the one, because I haven't seen one in better condition, I don't think ever. This one basically was found in a collection recently, and it looks virtually unissued. Just incredible quality in every way. Now, these were used by engineers during the Spanish-American War, and actually these were manufactured kind of on the fly. There was a, a call for these when we got involved in the Spanish-American War and the Philippine insurrection in 1898-1902 period, and these were ordered by the government on a short order. So some of them will have some unique characteristics that were kind of like improvised uh, materials, such as this horn handle here. Some of them had wood handles, some of them had green handles, this one having a green horn handle, which has a beautiful patina on it. Now these were ordered by the government for the Spanish-American War, this one being an absolutely fantastic example. Now this one measures about 20 inches overall with about a 15 inch big giant sweeping blade. And this would be used by engineers in the field to cut brush. It's got a massive spine on this, on this blade, you can see. The weight of the spine would be used for chopping gun emplacements, a machine gun nest, artillery emplacements, and just an all around utility tool to clear brush. It's just a massive, very well-balanced weapon. On the blade, you can see here, it's, it's marked Collin & Company's Hartford, Connecticut, number 1005 right here. Nice stamp on the blade. And the blade is like mirror. It's like a mirror finish. Like, I, does, this does not really show any hard use at all. This one looks like it was probably manufactured, issued, and really not used. So this is a really great example for your collection. I want to show you the scabbard on this. Scabbard is a really beautiful, beautiful tooled leather scabbard with a brass drag and a brass throat has a belt loop, a leather belt loop on the back, which also has some tooling on it. Um, again, really high condition, kind of kind of stiff. Now, this is kind of unused so much that when I was trying to actually pull this out, it was kind of hard, but put a little silicone on there. It seems to work better, but it's still, still a little tight. Regardless, this is a really, really high grade example. And if you collect edged weapons of the US Army or the US military, this is a definite because this one is probably the best one you're gonna see. It's got great markings. The leather is like really high condition. The blade is like a mirror. It's got a beautiful horn handle and it's only available at Rare Collectibles TV. This is item M1350, a World War I-era engineer's bolo machete by Collins for only $495. Again, that's item M1350, a World War I-era engineer's bolo machete by Collins for the collector-friendly price of just $495.